Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So for this week's decoration, I've made my own kit using the Planners Anonymous Sweet Art Digital Creative Kit. So if you want to see how this all came together, then just keep watching. Okay, so while I'm waiting on my Planners Anonymous kits to arrive, I couldn't wait anymore to use a PA kit. So I have made my own, which I have never done before and I'm rather excited about it. Uh, this is using the Planners Anonymous Digital Creative Kit, the Sweet Art Kit. Chucked it into Photoshop, made it my size, made it the way I wanted it to, printed it out. I did cut these out with my trimmer rather than putting them through the silhouette. I just realised afterwards I'd made it a flat JPEG instead of lots of little images which made it hard and I couldn't be bothered. So I just cut these out myself and we're going to see how we go. So... <laughs> I love these boxes, I'm so proud. Um, I did also make myself some little washi strips. So I used the the tops, what are they? I don't even know what they're called. The kind of, oh goodness, what are they called? The cafe blinds. I thought that would look really cute at the top, which it definitely does. And then I just cut it out wiggly. Now before I put that down, I've just realized I've already put it down, so we're going with it. Um, I also did cut out this which I thought would look really cute cut in half and then stuck down the middle which it definitely will so I'm just gonna mark roughly where I want my cut line to be so I'm just very gently marking that on the edge because I have of course cut this pretty well I'm very proud of myself I cut this beautifully um, so I don't want to leave too many lines on it. Then I'm just going to put it into the paper trimmer, line it up. Okay, if it's not 100% perfect, it's fine. There we go, and then I can stick that down as well. So, so this was the only one that I didn't stick down onto another piece of paper. I just figured it would be so much easier for me to do it this way. That way I didn't have to be pulling off. Um, pulling off backing papers while I was trying to talk to you guys because as you can hear I'm already not doing so great with my words. I've had the busiest couple of weeks and unfortunately my busy couple of weeks is not coming to an end anytime soon. Um, so I'm just trying to make it through as best I possibly can and if that means that I've got to stumble through some words and then, then, then that's just what I'm going to have to do. So it's not stuck down completely perfectly, but it's pretty close. I've obviously got a little bit at the bottom that I'll cut off. Now this is, I printed this on unicorn sticker paper. So it has some give and it also looks absolutely stunning. And then for the bottom, which I just need to decide if I'm going to put over the top or underneath the flower there, which is why I left it a sec. I grabbed the little stamps and I turned them into my own little stampy washi tapes. I just thought it looked cute, which it definitely does and it's definitely going to go under. So I just need to pull that flower up again. Oops, it's okay. I'm just going to sit that there because it'll hold itself up there for a sec. And I didn't want to use the stamps in other places so I decided that this would be the way that I would use the stamps. Okay. Oh, I love that down the side. So then I'm going to go ahead and cut off all the excess here. I'm also going to punch the holes and do the other side and then I'll be back. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm, I'm, I don't get proud of myself too often when it comes to things that I make, but I'm very proud of this. I think this is one of, one of the coolest things I've done in a while. I've never attempted to make a sticker kit before. And I think this looks really cool. I love too that that lines up. So it'll look lovely when it goes into the planner. All right. I then did eight boxes for my eight days. But I made this one. Now, this is where I may have, I may have been a little bit too ahead of myself. I've just realized this. Because I wanted to make this a flip up. And I've made it the exact right size for here. Oh no, it'll fit. It'll fit and I'll just make it sit behind. Okay, so I'm going to pull the strawberries up a little bit. So thankfully, unicorn sticker paper, 
does well. Hold on, before I do that, I've just realized I've forgotten something. I want it to flip up. So I did have some paper left over from when I did that, um, the, the, what's it called? What did I call it? This, the sticker pocket that I made. So I want to use this fairy floss colored paper. Again, this is all just printed with the digital kit. It's what I love. I, I just, I adore the digital kits. They are so, so clever. So clever. So I'm going to grab the paper trimmer. I'm just going to cut this in, not half, but yeah, we'll go half. And then I'm going to fold. Hold on, we'll just cut the white bits off because I don't need those. I'm just keeping it straight, but I'm not being particularly careful the part that I love about the digital kits is you know what I can print out another piece if I need to so then I'm going to fold this in half fold it up doesn't really matter if it's not in half just as long as it's big enough for that sticker to sit on and then I'm going to lay the sticker down right up against that oh don't do it thank you uh, right up against this the fold line I'm just going to grab a score tool just give that a really good push. But these are the things that you can't get. I can't custom make myself a sticker out of a regular kit, but I can with these digital kits. So I'm just going to trim this down. Like I said, I don't mind if I've wasted some paper because I can just print myself another piece if I want to. sort of pink on the inside so that I can write in whatever I want to write in. I'm going to stick that down on here. The part that's going to be interesting is how do I work the strawberry out. I'll, I'll come back to it. I'll work it out. Now, pulled up a little bit of that washi so that's okay. Whoops, I lost some strawberry. going to grab a little bit of undo. I'm not going to worry about that bit of strawberry. I'm going to put it up here and I'll fix it up in a sec. I'm just going to grab a little bit of undo just to help me not tear the paper so much. Hello perfection. And I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape just to hold this up and out of my way because I don't want to make a mess. So I'm just holding that up there. I'm going to hit this very quickly with the heat tool. Just to dry it off. Okay, so what I had originally anticipated was putting it there so it all sort of lined up. So I'm going to put the boxes on the on this side. So what I might do I might I'm just gonna go over the top. I know that's it's it's different and a bit weird. But I'm just going to go over the top of it because I think it'll look fine. And that way I don't have to cut anything or hide anything or change anything. It's just going to sit there. So a bit of glue tape on the back of this one. But this means I won't need to have a flipper. I did think about cutting something out and having my own sort of custom flipper. But I won't need it. This week, <laughs> this week is mad. Next week, you wait. You guys wait till you see next week. It's just... Yeah. Yeah, 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 crazy, 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 crazy. So I'm lining that up so it butts up against the washi strip at the bottom. I might need to open this. And I want it to sit on that line so that you know, all the um, all the boxes will line up in just a sec. So that was just one image that I added in some of the word fetty in so it says sprinkle love everywhere and I just love it I just love it okay so then we're going to put in some boxes so I'm just being careful with the quotes because I don't want to go quoting too much but I'm going to put the boxes so I size these to be just a little bit smaller than my square my area area that's not 
right word, but my box size or grid size here. So it's got just a little bit either side. I like having a little bit in between. That's a me thing. But if you don't, obviously you can you can change it. And the the cool thing, I'm gonna say it a bazillion times, the cool thing about these ones, like the custom one, is that you can make it however big you like it. And then I go and do that and say, oh yeah, that's right, because it would have been a bit small. I'm just thinking, but that would have been wrong, but I just realized the washi tape went up over. I did make that a little taller. Um, so we've got the berries. So I've got one to write in. There's another one here to write, so there'll be two to write in and then two just completely decorative ones each time. I'm just going to make sure I put the berries. So that's the, the one to write in needed to be at the top, at the middle. I knew that. No, because Thursday's going to be the day I'm going to actually have to write stuff. So I'm just going to stick with what I want to do. Love this lollipop one. It took me forever to make the pattern. But once it was on, oh, did it, was it good? Yeah, so this side we're going to have... Now we're going to be one, going to have one too many because obviously down the bottom we've got this one. So I think I'll leave off, I'm going to leave off the cupcake, which is horrible because I love that cupcake. So I'm going to have, the quote's going to be in the middle, the thing to write's going to be, uh, no it's not. The writing one's going to be at the bottom because Sunday's my day off. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll put the cupcake on the inside. It's a lot of fun looking at a sticky kit that you designed to come to life. I think it, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really proud of myself. I think it's cool. Okay. There's all my boxes. Now, I, I didn't have to do this, but I figured, you know, I'm already there, so we'll fix it up. Um, I deliberately made these so that I didn't need to put date dots on them. So they are the right dates. I'm just checking. Six, seven, yes. Um, these are the right dates. I'm just going to put them down straight next to the box. I'm happy with them there. I do like them more on the left than on the right. Um, but if you didn't, like if you, you could obviously make these as a generic Monday and then not put the date. But I figured considering I was printing it and I knew when I was using it, it would be fine. So you can stick these down and I'll be right back. Oh, I love that so, so much. And then what I've also done is I've made myself a couple of little boxes just to put in places if I need to. The other thing I did, which I may use in here, I made these little clipboardy ones. Now I probably should have made them a little bit smaller, but this is what I've done. So I'm going to have this one on there. It'll fold fine. So it kind of looks like it's actually sitting right there. That one's going to be my happy mail list. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm going to put my Happy Mail with the cupcake. So the cupcake should sit, yeah, right in that little space. Because that's how big the sticker was on the other side. And we'll put Happy Mail on the top. And then I did make two to-dos, but I don't think I'll use them. I think I'll leave them and use them another time. But I am going to put these two clipboards down. And then I've got my sort of places to write stuff. I've also got some room at the top to decorate. Now, I deliberately, ow, these new tweezers are pointy. I did deliberately not print too much deco because I knew with all of this other stuff it was going to look a lot. But I did print out and cut out four of these little um, sort of freak shakes. I love that word, by the way. So I've got, this one's actually a strawberry lemonade, but then I've got two freak shakes and I've got a macaroon jar. And I just want to put them just around the place. I'm just trying to work out where. So we'll have, we'll have 
the strawberry thick shake at the top. The chocolate one, oh, which is the one that I'd be eating if I was having one of these. Really want to hide. I've got like a little bit of um, paint from another another day, but I don't. Thursday is going to be busy enough. I don't want to put it. Yeah, I don't do it. I'll just do it. It'll be fine. Uh, and then the macaroon jar can come up here. <sighs> that has come together so super quickly because I didn't need. I'd already had it all sorted. The only things I'm going to add in, I'm just going to put in a couple of boxes. So Wednesday's a day off this week. I should have made them thinner. Wait a minute. Hold on. I was going to say, I did make two thin ones. I know I did. I'm just going to put this one down instead. So I'm having Wednesday and Thursday off this week. So I can put those in. See, I knew that that was going to be in the wrong spot. I'm just going to, I'll move it in a sec. Put them there. There we go. That's better. And then I can put swimming lessons and stuff underneath. So we'll put our other little ones in too. Because we'll make it look like a proper plan a week. Oh, so much in my planner at the moment. It's all messy. I'll put a little icons in. Oh, come here. So we've got swimming and daycare. And then we just need on Sunday to put in one of these boxes because it is going to be I'm holding I'm hosting with Sammy from Planners Anonymous I'm hosting the second ever Planners Anonymous planner party we are making some extra special fun stuff using the Australiana collection because you know Aussie so I had to um, so if you want to come and join in I'm just gonna put that sticker back in there for now uh, if you want to come and join in all the details are going to be over on the Planners Anonymous Facebook page but I will link them down below if they've been released they might not have been released by the time this video goes up. So just be aware of that. Um, all the details will be announced though. So if you're interested, make sure you're following me and you make sure you're following Planners Anonymous. You don't have to be a subscriber to, to jump in on this party. You can do, uh, there will be free printables and there'll be extra paid printables that you can print out at home. This is what you can do with the printables. You don't have to just do paper stuff. If you've got stickers, I didn't use my silhouette at all. I could have. But I made all of these stickers, all this is, is Photoshop, which I will admit was a pain and took me a long time. And I'm not even going to lie and say that this kit took me five minutes to put together. It took me about three or four hours to put together. But I think that's a great investment. I already had the stuff. It's not like it's going anywhere. And I just I love this. I love it. I honestly do. And now I'm really, really tempted to sit there and make some other kits. The, like I said, the Planners Anonymous kits are great. But if I can put my own little spin on it, make them the stickers that fit my planner, because we we know for so long that my little boxes are different sizes to everybody else's, I like the fact that I've made this to my size. And now I know my size. I know how to do it. I'll probably be able to do it a little bit quicker. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you at the planner party on Sunday. Details to come. Have an absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome rest of your day and a fantastic week. And I'll catch you in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.